<clears throat> yeah, my mouth gets away from me. And well, you know what? This is not my mouth. Because uh, my brain doesn't function uh, like everybody else's does. My mouth goes as fast as my brain goes. Um, but I don't think before I speak. And my heart leads the way. Uh, that's uh, 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 everything, basically. Uh, my anger as I'm talking, uh, my emotional downfall, uh, is all my heart. My heart leads my life. I tell other people, it runs and ruins me. Um, because people don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear that they hurt my feelings. Well, I'm going to tell you that you hurt my fucking feelings because you fucking did. You know? So, therefore, they don't want to hear the truth. Don't tell the fat girl she's fat. She already fucking knows. But she'd rather be around a bunch of liars. Is that what it is? Hi, you look so wonderful today. Really? I feel so awful and fat. Well, you are fat, hun. So what's the problem? You know? Whatever. Anyway. See? It's an emotional roller coaster. I can talk myself into crying. I can talk myself into being angry. To the point of spitting at the screen. I can talk my into almost anything, yet you can't talk me into anything. I'm so black sheep and uh, such a rebel uh, that whatever you say, I'll do the deliberate opposite uh, because I'm gonna, uh, just because I'm a tension whore, Mike says it's a shock and block. That's what you like to do. You like to shock people and then block. Oh, no, 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 no. I do shock and block, but I got to make sure that you got my shock because if you didn't, I'll shock you again. Why don't you try some electrical shock treatment? Perhaps, you know, they can, you know, help you build a personality of your own. I'm so broken. I look what I do. I talk to my phone. I get high. I sit in my room. I have absolutely no life. And I crave life. I don't crave life. I crave love. And I will never feel what, uh, 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 I'll never feel what I felt for Mike, for another person. Therefore, either I uh, choose and accept the fact that I'm going to be alone uh, till the day I die, or I, I lie to myself and settle. Which makes me feel bad. I feel bad. Like, I even felt bad to tell Mike that I felt I loved him more than Steve. I was with Steve 10 years. How could I not love Steve? I loved him. I loved him. Yet, I guess I didn't know what love was until I had Mike. And then I loved him so much. Uh, because I let him in, I told him all my dark secrets. All the ones that make me the kinky little fucker I am. Um, I let him in. And he come in with a whisk, I guess, from the egg beater. And just whipped up everything on the inside of me. And, uh, and uh, he'd exit with the shell. Well, I can uh, Therefore, I'm going to uh, settle. So I'm going to hopefully find somebody that I'm semi-attracted to. Because it's going to be awful. I'm not a gold digger, so therefore I can't go out with somebody because they have a wallet. Uh, that just pisses me off. And if you think that that's the reason I'm doing that, you're sadly mistaken. But take your wallet and go fucking stick it in your ass. Because uh, I'm not sticking anything in your ass. <laughs> um, so, um, that's what I was going to do. Just Hopefully, I'm semi-attracted to him. That way, it's easier to get stimulated, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Everybody seems to think that gay, homosexual uh, relationships is all about the sex. Um, it's not. At all. At all. Um, although men are hornier than women, uh, two, three times a day, for me, I suck my off every day, sometimes twice a day, he would come. Um, I milk that bitch. <laughs> I was just thinking that just as I'm talking, right? Literally, I didn't even let his balls fill up. I, I, I was always on to him. I loved him. He was beautiful to me. And that's why another thing in my head, too, in my heart, I'm going to compare every person that I meet or even remotely think that I'm going to have some kind of relationship with. It's going to be a comparison back to him. And I'm going to um, always second judge the person, always feel they're cheating on me, they're lying to me. Everything that comes out of their face is a lie. Um, so uh, how in the world can I ever fall in love again? Literally, how can I? When... Uh, all the everything is going to fall back to what I already went through. 
yeah. Now you understand a bit why I'm on therapy, or I'm on fucking disability. And it's funny, too, because I probably am capable of working, except unless it's a talk show, <laughs> I'm going to end up getting fired. Uh, because I don't have... My brain just doesn't go on one topic, or one direction, or one... You know, they'd be like, here, you build this display. Great, I can do that. And then until something happens, like a customer approaches me or something, and then all of a sudden I forgot that, and I launch to something new. And I get fired because, you know, I'm over there changing tires for this fucking chick on her bicycle. I'm just referring back to Canadian Tire. I've worked for six of them. Anyway, my hand is cold. I'm on my way back. I'm uh, done talking, I guess. I don't have no beverage. Oh, I need some of the sun. You know, I was curious to think of that one that came down there and held that camera at me down at the dam. He was attractive. I was attracted to him. Because uh, you can tell within milliseconds. One millisecond. As soon as you look at a person's face. Uh, I understand why they want faces all over the internet. Uh, or on a grinder. You know, show me your face. I need to see. Because it doesn't matter what your dick is. Yet some of the size queens literally want big dick. Like Mike. Yet your big dick's attached to the homeliest motherfucker you've ever seen. So wonderful. You go have your big dick. Uh, make sure you don't look up. Right? Oh, and make sure, you know, that they wash behind that fucking scabbity extra piss flap. Anyway, so people know within seconds, as soon as you see a face, uh, if you're attracted to them or not. And when I saw him, because it kind of startled me, I wasn't really paying attention, and normally, normally nobody comes down there when I'm there. Uh, so when I just kind of looked over, um, oh, there's a person. And I was like, hey, how you doing? And he booked it. Anyway, but the brief moment that I saw his face, I was attracted to him. Um, he was cute. I was going to say young, but not that young. 30-something. I'm so old. <laughs> I just, oh my god, 30-something is young. You know? What the fuck? I'm so old. And it's funny, too, because when I was with Mike... See, look, at conversation always goes back to him. Uh, he's uh, 11 years older than me. I never once felt anything. Uh, no number problem, right? I looked at him. I was devoted. I looked up to him. Uh, he was so, you know, so masculine looking. Keep that in mind. Only masculine looking. Um, and he was, uh, if I had a bucket list, there's 10 boxes. 10 statements, and you just check off uh, what each person has. Oh, look, he had this, he had this, he didn't have that, he didn't have that. Uh, Mike filled nine of my boxes uh, without even opening his fucking mouth. Crazy. How could I judge a person like that when I didn't even hear what they had to say? I'm like, oh, just, I could just look at you. One time I remember fighting and yelling at him. I only fell in love with what I see. Because everything that comes out of your fucking mouth, we clash. That's because I'm not a liar. You know, that's the difference right there. Uh, because he lies. And then accuse me of lying because he's a liar. You know, accuse me of cheating because he's cheating. Accuse me of everything. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. You know, what he's saying to me. Don't expect honesty from those... Or don't expect honesty from those who can't give you... Something else. Which was him. But at the time, I took it as me. Don't expect honesty from people from people who can't give you something, something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. I gotta smoke cigarettes. No wonder I smoke, right? No wonder I smoke, drink, and, you know. No wonder, no wonder. Uh, figures. That song. Actually, I'm going to listen to the other one I like. Um, I really like that one, too. It's nice to be safe with that. Uh, home stereo. It's, um, caught feelings. Uh, so this here spot right now, and this is where I sat that night for the sunset. So the sunset just went over there, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna say bye for now. I got to uh, smoke cigarettes. Bye bye.